Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for, well, the middle of July. The 16th through the 22nd is what I'm going to label this, but this is whenever it resonates with you. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Could have happened already, could be happening now, could be happening in the future. You know, it is what it is. I would like you to remember that if this reading feels right, then it's right. If it feels wrong, then it's wrong. You really need to listen to your intuition. Um, if you'd like a private reading, you, the information is below. We are going to get one of these and one of these, and then we'll break into the tarot deck. If it flips out while I'm shuffling, you'll get to see it now. Typically, my readings are love readings. If you're looking to uh, see what's going to happen in your bank account, then this is not for you. These readings are typically for people that are, you know, struggling in a relationship. Or if you are in a happily ever after relationship, happy connection, happy marriage, then this reading probably isn't for you either. It probably just won't resonate, okay, because it's just the way it is. These are for people that need advice, okay. If you don't need any advice, you probably shouldn't be watching. Um, somebody is in an unhappy connection, okay? An unhappy commitment. And, you know, they're trying to decide whether to stay or go. Do I stay or do I go? So, you know, somebody is trying to figure that out. They need to make a decision. My, you know, I have the world right in front of me. Should I, should I travel? Should I go? Should I, should I move on? And, you know, this is about masking your emotions to move on. You know, wherever you're at, th there's not a lot of happiness here. There's not, not, there's discontent in a connection. This is about confidence. This is about nobility. It's about respect. I think somebody is reluctant to move on, but if they do, they'll feel immediate relief. It's like they've been you've been holding on to something that doesn't feel peaceful, harmonious, balanced. It's not. It's not balanced. It's just not content at all. Whatever this is. Thinking about walking away. Yes, somebody is, is really considering leaving this situation. Or they are leaving. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. This is, this is no longer stable for me. There's a lot of discontent. Somebody is probably deciding to whew, do what's right for them. It's time for me to do what's right for me, even if it hurts. Even if it hurts you. You've been involved in a one-sided situation. That's what's happened here. Now it's time to get your life back on track. Six, six, six. Okay. That's about get your life back on track. This is the journey towards balance and harmony. When you see six, 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 this is where you're at. And it's about the choices that you make. It's a time of reevaluation right now for you, Aries. You guys are reevaluating your own happiness, seeing things from a new perspective. You've been in a situation where there's there's not a lot of content, love, and happiness. I mean, that's what this is. And I said, 666, people think that's a devil energy. It's not actually a devil energy. It's about choices. It's about balance and harmony. It's a time to get your life back on track. So other people see that you're conflicted. They do. Other people see that you're going through some, some inner struggles. Um, your challenge is, is letting go of the past. Okay, you have to let that go. Right now you're clinging to something that doesn't serve you anymore. 
and your advice is to see it as it is, tell it like it is, and walk away. These are your advice positions because you're in a one-sided situation where you're not getting what you want. You're not feeling feeling it. And right now, you're in decision-making mode. Do I stay or do I go? Do I move forward or not? But I feel as though somebody is about to progress forward. Okay, somebody is making progress and making this decision to move forward, to move on, to master their emotions and take the lead. Somebody is about to replace the fear that they have of moving on and just do it, whatever this is. Let me get this zoomed in. There's definitely emotional disappointment here, okay, with this Eight of Cups. It's time for me to walk away. I know that it is, but, you know, sometimes knowing and doing are two different, two different things. I mean, let's get some clarifiers here. I want that Five of Wands reversed is, is you're reluctant, reluctant to take the lead, reluctant to move on. But when you do, you will feel almost instant relief. Okay. You've been stuck for long enough. You've been in limbo. You've been hanging around, sacrificing yourself for no reason. But, you know, I can say no reason, but you've been enlightened through this period of time, right? So I guess there was a reason, right? You've gained some enlightenment by hanging around, thinking about things. But absolutely now is the time to see things from a new perspective. This is a new perspective is needed here. Okay. It feels as though it is definitely time to let go. It is time to let go when you get the hangman. You know, somebody's really been stubborn and hot headed and perhaps materialistic, greedy, focused on the wrong things, focused on their. And that makes a lot of sense with the Six of Cups. Because the Six of Cups is love. Upright. It is. It's love. But reverse, it's, it's, it's not. It's forgetting about love. Forgetting about love. Focused on money. Focused on material possessions. There could be some regrets here. Accepting the reality and facing the fear. It's time to face the fear, accept the reality, speak the truth. And you can no longer escape. I don't, I think that somebody doesn't want to escape reality anymore. Somebody has been trying to escape reality. But it's been really unfulfilling, hasn't it? Living in this illusion whatever it was it's been unfulfilling and somebody has decided you know I want more I want this ace of cups I want this love somebody has been burying themselves in materialistic money job career possessions everything but love to hide their pain to hide their fears of allowing love to permeate or whatever the case is whatever this four of cups is a lost opportunity in love because it hasn't been a priority. And that's that's deception, okay? There's been there's been some craftiness, there's been some trickery, there's been some deception here. There's been a lack of awareness of what is the most important thing. And some of you will not like this reading because you will not believe that love is important. And that's okay. And I, I'm not saying that you guys aren't lovers. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that somebody watching this reading, I don't know who it is, has focused too much on materialistic things, status quo, society, what everybody else thinks, and pushed love to the back burner. That's what I see. And there could be some regrets now.
there's still hope. This is a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of healing. It's a time of renewal. It's a time of building new dreams, making new wishes, and allowing them to be fulfilled. This is a wish upon a star. Your wish is my command. If it's if it's a wish of healing, if it's a wish, if it's a genuine wish, if it's something that is not ego based. Something is over. There's a completion here. A completion, an ending of a cycle in your life. Aries, a cycle is ending that is going to make you much, much happier after it ends. It's almost like an, an instant renewal. There's a phase, and, and you know, a lot of this is mental. It is. There's a phase of your life that has held you back that is ending. To bring you something better. I see like a spiritual renewal here. There's guilty. Regrets. Somebody's felt guilty. There's regrets. There's there's a lot of uh, sleepless nights over what went wrong. Where did I go wrong? Somebody let their ego drive. And you know, I know that you guys aren't going to like this. Some of you don't want to hear this. And that's okay. But wish fulfillment comes when you choose the right path. <sighs> somebody wants to know where they went wrong. Right? I said they, somebody wants to know where they went wrong. They went wrong by letting their, their ego drive. By wanting more and more and more and more and more. And it's time to give that up. Let go. Somebody is letting go of the need for more stuff. Letting their guard down. No longer going to fight. No longer going to keep that stance. Lack of confidence in that ego. Somebody's changing. Somebody is changing big time. Heading in a new direction. New direction. Woo! There you are in the reversed. Not focused. Lost concentration. Things have been chaotic. You can't control it. Things are out of control. You may be going through some sort of inner war. You know, Mars is retrograde, right? The war is between what is good and what is not. What is most important, what is not. There's anger, there's regrets. There's definitely some regrets here. There's regrets of how things have played out. And what I could have done better. Lots of overanalyzing with the Four of Cups as well. How did this happen? Look what just came a rolling out. Judgment Day. What the hell is that? Uh, 
I have never heard that noise at my house and I have lived here since 2013. The horn is a blowing and the goosebumps are coming. <sighs> okay. All right. It's it's judgment day. It's it's time. Okay? It's 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 time for the truth to come out. It's time for the truth for it to be revealed. This card is labeled karma. It's actually the judgment card. This is an awakening. It's a wake up call. Whatever is happening has is happening at this time to wake you up to what is most important in life. This is a card of forgiveness. This is a card of releasing the past. This is a wake-up call. A secret is about to be revealed that is going to help you. And it's not just a secret, it's a truth. It is going to help you to release, forgive, and wake up. Wake up to who you truly are. So I feel like Aries, this is a week of, of reckoning almost. It's like a day of reckoning. Oh my God. I just, I really feel like there's a completion here. There's an ending here. That brings you peace, believe it or not. It allows you to get, get your life back on track. Something, there's some sort of awareness, a wake-up call, truth that is revealed to you that changes your path drastically. It changes your way of thinking. It changes who you are. It allows you to, to become a new person in some way. It's like a major... It's a major, major shift. You guys are going through a major shift where you are becoming a whole new person. The past is no longer going to be. This is profound. But what about the future? What the this, this judgment card is releasing the past completely. Forgiveness. Forgive yourself for those regrets, whatever happened. Seeing the light. Somebody is about to see the light and step out of this insecure situation. It's the end of a difficult period, Aries. This difficult period has to do with materialism. It does. It does. It's about, you know, feeding the ego. And I know that you guys don't want to hear that, but this is a message you need to see, that you need to hear. Some of you do. There's regrets over choosing the wrong path. That's what I see. But there's a lot of karma here as well. So I think this karmic debt, whatever it is, is about to be paid off in some way. That's what I see. It's out of your control, too. You may try to control it with that emperor reverse, but it's out of your control. It may even make you angry. But it, it's time to become alive again. It's, t it's time to come out of this period of rest and rejuvenation. It's time to... Step out and start over. So I feel as though this is a week of recognizing basically the mistakes that you've made. It's and, and that's that's hard. That's hard to do sometimes. It hurts. It feels. It's a feeling week. It is. It is. But it's progressing you forward.
It's going to bring you long-term wish fulfillment, healing, renewal, rebirth. It's allowing you to replace your fear with faith. Something is happening profound, profoundly within you. And this needs to happen because you've lost your focus. You've lost your, conf- your concentration. And you deserve, you deserve more. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be free. You deserve to release this worry and these regrets. Forgive yourself. I'm not saying you're a bad person. I don't think that. Both of my mother and father are Aries. And I know a couple of other mothers. Both of my my best friend's mothers are Aries. I absolutely love Aries. Don't let these regrets of the past hold you back. Just move on. Release them. Forgive yourself, forgive others, and move on. If you hold on to them, you're letting yourself be controlled by devil energies. Don't let jealousy hold you back either. Jealousy is an issue. I know there's some other people, you know, jealousy is a big issue. Don't let yourself be dragged in or drug in by jealous tendencies trying to compete with the world. That'll bring you backwards. It will bring you backwards because that's materialistic. That's ego. Feed. It's what is it? It's starve the ego, feed the soul. Starve the ego, feed the soul. All right, that's enough. Now, I don't know if this is a love reading. I don't see it as a love reading, so I probably won't label it a love reading. I feel as though you guys are dealing with a karmic debt. That is about to be paid off. Hope. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there's always hope. There is, and I I think I mentioned hope earlier. I can't remember because I let the reading go so fast. Um, There is hope. There's hope. Don't lose hope. Just make sure that you're starving that ego. It's time to get your life back on track. If you starve that ego and you feed the soul and you don't be jealous and you don't hold on to anxiety and regrets and fear and the whole nine yards, everything will get better. Whew, that's a good one, huh? This situation is ready, is already resolved from Archangel Michael. This situation is already resolved. I give any worries cares and concerns to you in exchange for true peace in all ways. Thank you for resolving this. Describe the situation in a divinely perfect way. Thank you for resolving this situation in a divinely perfect way. I feel like whatever is happening is progressing you towards the next stage of your life towards a more positive stage in your in your life whatever this is I don't know what it is but this is what I have for you I'm sorry it's not really a love reading but you know sometimes you have to heal before you can love you may have to even forgive yourself as well try forgiving yourself <laughs> 